someone did some shopping, some Black Friday shopping. It wasn't me. <laughs> I discovered a new brand. I'm gonna try it on, so it's called Bearded Goat. I told Brandy, I want a couple nicer things. I'm cheap sometimes, but sometimes I like nicer You're things. You're kind of getting more into like quality clothes or like at least middle range. Yeah, I know I hate doing it, but then sometimes it's worth it because they last, they feel better, they look better. They home. fit better. They fit better. Mm -hmm. And it's like, I'd rather, I, I'm so cheap where sometimes I'll spin and buy multiple of something rather than just buying one or two of something really nice. I'll buy like five cheap things. Yeah. Which I get both sides. But yeah, I think it's good to mix high and low. Okay, yeah. sorry, go ahead. Beard to go. I just found, it was like an Instagram ad or something. So I don't know anyone that's tried it. No one's told me about it. I've never. You're pulling it out for the first time. Yeah, it literally came. So I got some joggers, a crew neck and a hoodie, I think. I remember right. I ordered it last week. Um, You've been waiting. He's so cute, you guys, when he orders stuff because he waits for it because he doesn't yeah. order much. Cute. It, that looks it looks like it could be a little large, but let's see. Okay. I'm like right in between pants too and shirts. I'm like a large but medium. I don't know. I feel like a lot of guys are like in the medium of middle of sizes. Mm-hmm. Does it look big? No, it doesn't. It looks bigger than some that you wear, but honestly... Not bad. It looks kind well, of it, like you need it. Yeah. Oh yeah, maybe. Hold on, let me pull this down. I don't hate it. Like I feel like this is like a little. Like look at that. It goes way down there. That's big. Are you bummed? What do you think? I feel like it feels big. I don't think it looks very big, but also I. I mean, I think it looks big for you. Like as far as like what I'm used to you wearing and purchasing. It's big. I wish it was like. Here, like my, yeah. almost my... Bummer. Well, that's okay. Do you think I should exchange it or keep Yeah, it? maybe exchange it for a medium. Maybe yeah, it so. is a little long. It's just long and it feels... If this is long, if it was like the here, I feel like it'd be perfect. And you don't like fitted, but you like a tiny bit bigger than fitted, I, I think. I like a little bit bigger than fitted. Yeah. Okay. Okay, this is the crew neck. Are you nervous now that that one was big? Yes. That looks like it's gonna fit way better. See, this, that I fits. Like this fit. Yeah, that's nice. See, it still goes down a little yeah, bit. Yeah, but you're not gonna. Kinda, yeah, you're not gonna have that. it pulled down straight like that. It's gonna be. Yeah, that's nice. Oh, no oh, pockets. I wish I had some pockets. <laughs> but I like this. I like that. Just for a crew. Fits really good. Bearded goat. Yep, so cute. Size large. This one's a large too. Okay. So if that one would fit like this, I feel like I'd be satisfied. That's all right. We can exchange it. Okay. And you win last, some, you lose some. I'm keeping this one, right? Yeah. And the last one's joggers. Yeah, so. I got to turn the second. camera off for this one. <laughs> well, I that's. Like these maybe I like, do too. I like them, but these you are definitely. Very, like cabin or like around the house, but just for like wearing out or stuff. Or what do you think? Too big. But I do like them. I think if they fit you. I like them. They feel very good. Okay, so I'm going to keep this. Exchange. And I'm gonna see, I think I can because I paid, oh no, I got a, it wasn't a final sale. No, it was just Black Friday sale. Yeah, so I'm gonna exchange these and the sweater. You like them? I do like it's them, I think it's. It's off, isn't it? It's like. It's kind of like a, it looks, you know, it's kind of like a, a vintage, yeah. It's like a vintage black. I think it said charcoal too. Oh, charcoal, yeah, it would be I mean, charcoal. It's the same color. Uh-huh. Should I keep the same, I love this. Should I keep the same colors of these? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, so I just need to order medium. Right. Cute. Zach's try on haul. If you have any other brands, I also want a couple of t-shirts. A little oversized, I don't like like the huge oversized. If there's any brands you know, I like the one-off. And I was telling Brittany, there's those brands that are like, that are high in like Lululemon, Talentless. What are some of the other ones? Essentials. Essentials. Stuff like that are high in, and they are nice, but they're, they're kind of just the name. Yeah. But they are nice. But then there's the step below where they're like close to that price, but they're like good quality. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know. Hopefully that makes sense. Yeah. Just like brands, you like brands that are less known, but nice quality. This is a perfect example. I've, I've It could I, be really known. <laughs> no, no. I think Bearded Goats, obviously it's popular enough. It's a full on company. Yeah. But it's like, I personally have never seen anyone ever wear this. Not trying to be different. Yeah. But it's like, I've never seen anyone wear this and it's good quality. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Thanks for the haul, cutie. I think two girls, there's, or women, 
there's a lot of different brands and things. Guys, I feel like it's, there's a lot of brands, but it's so much more, not niche, but. They're harder to come by. It's harder to come by for guys. I agree. Or men's clothes, women's, there's so many brands, so many options, so many different things. Yeah. You know, you go into a store, three fourths of the store is women's and the guy, and then kids, That's true. And then like a, a quarter of the quarter is yeah men's, even know? just thinking about like target you know like they have a pretty big men's yeah. section but it's nothing close to the women's or i think even like zara like oh true they have that one room we have three stories of women's or is and it two one stories room is the men yeah and it's the same as like the baby's size and then the rest are either kids or women that's so true i don't know that's a random but yeah Anyway, let us know if you have any cool brands that we need to check out. Today, we have a dinner tonight with our friends. I need to, in the last Vlogmas, I made the cinnamon roll, so I need to wrap those up. I just have a couple of things that I need to do before we go to their house. I shared this with you guys in my little haul, and it's super tarnished. I hope that you guys can really see how tarnished it is. So I went on Amazon, bought a little polishing cloth and thought I'm gonna polish it up and give it a little shine. It's really weird because I was not really into silver. Lately, I've been kind of into it more. I feel like the mix of the silver with wood, like natural wood and dark tones that I love looks really, really, really luxurious and really nice. So I just have been into it more. I still love my brass, don't get me wrong, my unlacquered brass, but I've been into some silver lately. Um, so yeah, I just thought I would polish this with you guys and see how it looks. Okay, so hopefully you guys can really see how bad of a pol- Oh my gosh, whoa. Oh wow. Can you guys see the difference? Oh my goodness. Wow. I mean, I do love when things tarnish and when they have patina, but I'm also kind of loving some of the high shine as well. The thing about the tarnishing though, is it almost has like this feeling to it that I don't like. It's like, has like a little bit of a residue. And I don't like the way that feels. Oh my goodness, can you see the difference? If I turn this, you can kind of see how it's kind of tarnished. And then if you look at the base that I just polished, it's nice and shiny again. That was super, super simple to do. And actually, as I was polishing it, I realized you could take the whole thing apart. This came off of the whole thing. I mean, the whole thing came apart. So I'm gonna give it one more little wipe on the outside of the cloth. I need like another like towel or something because my hands were getting super dirty and it was just tarnishing them or kind of making it feel like a little bit of residue. So I had to wash my hands. I'm giving it one more little wipe but it is a world of a difference. And like I said, I've been really loving the, I think it's called polished nickel against the patinaed wood of a lot of my vintage items. I just feel like it gives this like really luxurious look and I wasn't expecting that, but I'm, I'm into it. This piece back on here and then put this piece. This is actually, would have been really nice to know when we were traveling, because I, I brought this back as it was assembled, and on the plane, I was like so nervous that I was gonna break it, because it was just in my backpack on the plane, but it survived, and it would have been nice to know that it comes apart. Oh my gosh, that looks so much better. You guys know, I love patinaed items, but, 
a nice, gorgeous, fresh polished piece is just as beautiful. I think too, like with items that you can polish, like you know, silver and all of that, even though it's polished, it still has this look to it. And I think it's just because it's a natural material that just looks elegant and like high quality. And I think that's ultimately, I don't know what I love. Why won't this go in here? Okay, and then the last little piece here, look how shiny that is. And it feels clean. That, when they tarnish, like I was saying, it gives a residue and it's just, ugh. but it looks so good. Tighten this all up. And now it's gorgeous. We have about, when do we need to leave? <laughs> um, it's four, probably in an hour. Because we have to stop at the store. Look how cute Brandy looks. No. Look at her little, oh sorry. Whatever lipstick you have on, what is it? My everyday lipstick. I lipstick. am a girl, I have to have my lipstick. I feel like, it was so funny because I remember like, I remember some, when I was younger, just like older women, they'd always have like that lipstick, right? You know what I mean? Like whether it was red or pink or whatever. And I always thought it was so cute, but I was like, man, that's a little like dramatic, you know? And now I am that <laughs> person. Like I gotta have my lipstick on. Anyway, we're about to head out. I'm gonna actually try on some outfits, I think, with you guys, and then I'll show what we end up wearing. Did so, you rip the bread too? Yeah, oh gosh, I gotta rip the bread. Well, that's easy. I know. I have an hour, I'm fine. My hair and makeup's done. It's actually kind of easy. All I have to do is find like a top. They just said like cozy festive, which I have nothing. What am I supposed to wear? <laughs> no, we don't have anything festive. I need to wrap up the cinnamon rolls. I am taking them a batch each. I packed up my baker's twine. So I have like this velvet ribbon here. And then I have just like some silk. I think I'm gonna do the velvet. It looks like it kind of looks a little better on here. I'll show you guys. I just brought them both in just to check them out, but the velvet just looks a little less, like it looks nicer. So I'm gonna wrap these up real quick. I'm gonna tear my croutons because I make my croutons over at their house. I'm gonna do that there, but I'm gonna have it already torn before we head out so that all I have to do is just use one of our pans, put some olive oil and some seasoning on it and not tear it up. I've been tearing it up at their house every year and it just gets like a lot of crumbs everywhere. It takes longer. So this will be really nice because it'll be super simple and fast. Pretty. I think last year we showed you guys. Okay, that's how the velvet looks. I think it looks really pretty. I do have this Trader Joe's uh, candy cane dark chocolate bar. It's really good. So I'm gonna add this on there as well. Really yummy. So there we go. The bread torn. I had a couple pieces myself. This bread from Trader Joe's makes the absolute best croutons, but there's a secret to the croutons. One, if you hand tear them, I like that better because there's some pieces of the bread that are thinner and then those get like kind of crunchy and then this will stay kind of soft. It's just so much better if you hand tear them. And then spray olive oil. It, it almost coats them more evenly and it's just a, such a better consistency. So I will spray this. I'll get a little bit of footage for you guys when we're there when I'm making them so I can show you. And then I use the Johnny's seasoning salt and there's been times that I've accidentally forgot this and I've used other seasoning salt. It does not compare to this one. So that's kind of the key to the best croutons. I'll leave the Caesar salad recipe down below. Zach's already cut up the lettuce and has it in the refrigerator, letting it get nice and cold and crispy. And then all we have to do is make the croutons when we get there. Now, the thing about the croutons 
is they don't last. So when you make them, you kind of need to eat them. You need to make them right before you serve the salad because they do kind of get chewy and they don't last very long. So that's just the one bummer about the crouton. So that's why I make them at my friend's house instead of making them before. And I've had, have made them before and they just, they don't taste the same. So I got that all done. I'm gonna put this in a Ziploc. I'm gonna go try to find an outfit to wear and share that with you guys. And then we're gonna head out and go have our little Christmas dinner. Okay, so I got my skin shirt back on. I'm telling you, this shirt is just <sighs> tried and true. I got my Spanx, I gotta kinda fix them. This shirt honestly pulls together any outfit. If it is more of a dressier outfit, I think I do need to get some new ones. I think they're starting to get a little faded, but I wear them so much. Okay, whew. let's see. Cute. Cute, cute, cute. These in. I wanna get the bodysuit t-shirts, the cotton ones. The cotton ones are the ones to get. They are so good. And then what I think I'm gonna do instead of, because I'm wearing all black and I'm wearing my same shirt that I wear literally so much, I think I'm gonna do these little drop earrings. I felt like they were a little more festive. I've had these for a long time. I, I think I got these at Nordstrom Rack, I think, years ago. I, I could be wrong. But I just thought these were a little more festive. I also put on a glitter eyeliner earlier. I don't know if it's still doing well, but I feel like that is really cute and I can like tuck in my hair, give it a little push. That feels a little more festive. Put on my jewelry. This little Walmart watch has been, so I love it put it on this hand because it's like has the scrunchy band so I don't have to fuss with it it just holds tight and then I was thinking about putting on a couple bracelets I have this one I think I got this off Amazon maybe just the watch and the bracelet maybe just the watch less is more and then I think what I'll do is just drape this over. Oh, cute, it's very festive. That's cute. Okay. So I just have this little fur cropped coat. I got this last year. If there's something similar, I will link it. Then the vegan leather pants I shared with you guys recently, just some strappy heels and then my Skims t-shirt on underneath. I might just like wear the coat draping over the top like this, I feel like it just feels a little bit, you know, cozier and more festive and it feels very chic, um, very impractical. Wearing your coat like this, you're like constantly just like pulling it up, but I think this is pretty cute. And then without the coat, which is how I'll probably be all night, I feel like the coat and the earrings are the only thing making this outfit festive, but this is how my outfit will look pretty much. And then here is the earrings again. I feel like those are really festive and really pretty. I curled my hair a little further down today. So I feel like that's giving me a lot more volume down here. And I think that also helps with making it feel a little bit more, I don't know, like dressy and festive. <laughs> anyway, this is the outfit. All black. I know, but I just feel... Well, I guess the vegan leather pants make it feel a little bit more like holiday festive as well. And these are so nice because they are lined with fleece on the inside. So they're really warm. And I don't know about you guys, but a lot of the, a lot of the times when I'm at people's houses, I feel like when they know they're going to have guests over, they turn the temperature down. I end up freezing. So I thought these will be really nice because they're going to be super comfortable. They are really stretchy as well. So yeah, I think that these will be perfect. You're going to show your outfit? Oh yeah. <laughs> super Isn't basic. Super basic. Lululemon, uh, little, are these called a... Henley? Henley, a Henley little button up. You've had that for years. I know. I need a new one. Your Lululemon pants that you love. These are actually really, really great They're ABC pants. pants. So they ABC. kind of dress up and dress down. Yes. Yeah. And then your blazer shoes. Which I'll take these off. 
Yeah, we'll yeah, take them off. Good. Yeah, and they give us socks or slippers when we're at their house, so it does make it kind of nice. But we were like, well, do we take slippers? Like, <laughs> what do we do? And then over here, we just have all of the goods that we're taking. So we have like the cinnamon rolls, the wine. Oh, we need the dressing and the Parmesan. So we have this box from a delivery that we got today and we were like, oh, perfect. We can use this to take everything that we need. The dressing and what? Cheese. And that's it, I think, right? And you already got the bread? Yep, the bread's in there. This is for the, oh, the lettuce. Oh, that would have been bad. So Zach already uh, cut the lettuce and washed it and then he put it in the bag to get really cold and then also to get some of the moisture out of it. So, I think we need a roll. Should I just wear this over there or no? Yeah, that's fine. All right, Zach's wearing his new. I know, I love it. <laughs> it's so cute, I love it too. I'm it's, annoyed, not annoyed, but did you already share it? I got a sweatshirt and joggers too. It'll be at the beginning of this video, so you guys would have already seen that. Um, I had a return that, so I sent them off yesterday, and we leave for Oregon again. I hope it comes before. I know. But that's why I originally bought it, like, oh, it'd be nice. To have. But we'll see. I love yeah. it though. Yeah, I think it's very cute. Yeah. I love it. Okay, we ready? Yeah. Let's I love go. your big earrings. Oh, thank you, you babe. You need to do that more often. Really? Yeah. I think it's because they wear those gold hoops so much that you're like, you like a little bit of a mix up. Yeah. Okay, let's go. Oh, holy night, the stars are brightly shining. It's the night of the dear Savior's birth. Long lay the world in sin and error pining. He appeared and the soul felt its worth A thrill of hope The weary world rejoices For yonder breaks A new and glorious morn Fall on your knees Oh, hear the angel voice says, O oh, night divine, the night and Christ was born. 